What's up, YouTube? Greg, Fish in a Box Lifestyle. Let's go. On this video is going to be an update on my simple reef tank build. What's new? I added a protein skimmer. It's a DC protein skimmer footprint, 2.78 in length. As far as width, it's 3.7. It's a little bit too small for my tank, but this fits in the back chamber. As far as breaking period, it did not take too long. It only take a few hours to start skimming all that nasty stuff out of my tank. As far as cost budget friendly, once again, it was only $89 on Amazon and I ordered it during Prime Day. So it was a great deal. I will add the link in the description. The brand on this skimmer is MagTool. It's an MTSQ50. It's one of the smallest ones they have. Uh, it's rated 25 gallon as far as medium bio load. That's where my tank is at right now. Maximum gallon rating for the light load up to 35 gallon. So I'm on the smaller side here, like I said earlier, but this will work for sure in my tank. Maximum load up to 20 gallon, that's on the heavy side. Looking back at the first video that I posted 10 days ago, it's an eye opener. This is why everybody should start a YouTube channel so you can look back, you can track it. Look at the aquascapes, a bit different, or just take a quick video of your tank so you can look back and notice a difference, any difference in that matter when it comes to your fish and corals. I actually like this look a lot better compared to the one that I had previously. As far as lighting, I still got my Z-Light UFO. Sooner or later, I'm going to change this for sure. I mean, it's growing corals, right? So, I mean, it's still a budget reef tank. I'm trying to keep it that way. I added this digital temperature. I'm gonna add the link below. I'm not sure the name of the brand. I keep it at just above 75. What temperature you keep in your tank? I know ideal temperature is about 78. Currently, I'm at 75 here. Uh, room temperature, normally the house is about 72. Should I raise up my temperature? Hmm, we'll see. Before we end this video, before I forget, I added this yellow RAS, great for pest control. I actually just transfer it from my other tank. That's one of the benefits of having two tanks, right? You can just transfer fish and corals, see what works, and kind of go from there. But oh yeah, the hair algae is still there, trust me. I mean, you can see it in the tank. But I'm finally putting a grip and taking control of my tank once again. It's part of keeping a reef tank, so yeah, I'll take it. I added some snails in this tank, but I have not made a trip to the local fish store to get some more. If I can change anything in this tank, it will be that two clown fish right there. Stop hosting my bubble tip anemone. Come on, stop it. They harassed the crap out of that bubble tip, but there's nothing I could do, right? I mean, that's nature right there. So go ahead and keep hosting. This tank is still the young one. Like I said, previous videos 10 days ago now. Wow, it's been that long. Cannot believe I'm making YouTube videos here of a fish tank, but you know what? If I can share these videos and someone can learn, even just one person, that's a win. I'll take that all day. So go ahead, like and subscribe, comment below. If not, I'm gonna go to your house and I'm gonna take all your fish food. <laughs> just kidding. All right, that's pretty much it. We're gonna wrap this up. See you on the next one. As always, enjoy your fish tank.